correct for us. What this does is it's just a, you know, a literal search. It's going to bring up anything that comes up with the word dog in it, which might also include a hot dog, um, mm -hmm. which we're not going to need. But you can see if you scroll over it, there's a nice preview that comes up. You can take a look at those photos. And for this one, let's use this cute guy right here, type it on a laptop. We'll go ahead and click on that and select it and simply click on insert. And when you do that, you can see the preview of what it's going to look like. Yep. Really important to add a subtitle. Yeah, and it's really good to add a subtitle as well because then, um, you know, pictures, they don't, they don't come up in search, search engine terms. So if someone's searching for something that's, you know, relevant to your website, then it's good to name all of your images. That way they show up in the search. Absolutely. So we've gone and put in a subtitle there. You see you can also change the alignment if you want to have it center. Uh, it's going to put that directly in the center. If you want to have it right aligned, you can increase the size or decrease the size. You can also add a link to it. So we get a lot of customers that ask us how they can put in a link to their Google page. You know, you see the little link it's, or the little button. It says find us on, find us on uh, uh, Facebook. Excuse me, not Google. Find us on Facebook. You can actually put your link right there, and then anytime um, a visitor to your website clicks on that, it's going to take you directly to your Facebook page. Nice, easy way to create that link. So we've got our subtitle put in here. Uh, the alignment looks good. We're going to go ahead and click Save. Always important, make sure you're clicking Save. Yes. Nothing will happen unless you click that magic button. And now you can see it's automatically been added. Yeah. Now, if, if I were going and I, you know, uh, I had a normal web hosting package, I would have to code that in. Mm -hmm. I would probably have to upload that via a FTP server. I mean there, there's there's a lot of uh, there's or, there's a lot of steps. A lot of or if you there. hire someone else to do your website you have to call that person and you know get it on their schedule. So it, yeah. it's it's easy. When you can do it yourself you can change it quickly. Yep, anytime pretty much you want. Totally at their mercy. So that looks good. We're ready to go. Um, now let's say we wanted to work on what's called HTML widgets. And this is something that I think is really nice. It's a really easy way to add content to your site. Yep. And you can see the definition there. It's a small application that can be installed and executed within a web page by an end user. Yeah. So, and there's a lot of really cool widgets out there that you can add to your website. Um, there's tons of different clocks. You can add the weather, um, stock reports, tickers, stock rep uh, sorry, sports tickers and games. Yep. Um, and then there's three different uh, places that you can actually go to to find these widgets. Yeah, I mean, normally, you know, if you were looking for a clock widget, you could just do a Google search for clock widget, whatever you want to do. Right. I like Widget Box. It tends to work pretty well. It's got a ton of um, a ton of good widgets saved, and they make it really easy to download everything. Hmm. Facebook is really important. If you have a Facebook page that you want to link to or you want to show your um, Twitter stream directly, in your website, you can actually add it really easily. And what we're going to do now is walk through the process of, of adding that. So this is uh, the website again. We're in the editor mode, of course. And we're going to add a um, Twitter feed, our Twitter feed for one and -on one directly to the uh, right bar here. So we're going to click okay. on Add New Element. OK, and the menu box comes up again. I'm going to click on the More button. And you'll see all the way down at the bottom, there's widget slash HTML going to click on that. What that's going to do is that's going to open up this um, box where we can go ahead and throw that source code directly into. Now what I'll do is I will go to twitter.com slash uh, widgets. You can just use that. You put in your username, whatever your Twitter username might be. Scroll down to the bottom. You can actually see what it's going to look like over here by clicking on test settings. You can see exactly what it's going to look like. Click on finish and grab code. See the code will come up right in this box. You just click on that. You copy it. Go back over to your My Business site. And you simply Drop it in. paste it right in. There you go. It's just that easy. And click sure save. Hit save. Absolutely, always. And now you won't see it come up now, but if you click on the page view, which is a nice way to get out of the editor to see exactly what your page is going to look like, you can there see you right go. there. It came up automatically. So. Widgets, once again, nice way to add content to your site, really easy to do. Um, I highly recommend it. It's, it's going to make your site more content rich. And you hear yeah. us talking about content all the time. 
The reason why we do that is because it's really important to make your site full of great content that's going to yeah. keep people on your exactly. site as long as possible. Yeah, um, and you want people to be able to interact with you. You want um, a lot of companies want people to um, come to them for information. And so content is king when it comes to building a website. And all these features are very helpful in um, keeping your website really great to you know to come mm -hmm. to. Yeah, and and what's what's nice as a widget is is a really easy way to add content that updates automatically, but you don't have to do a lot of work for it. So all this information is just coming in. So if it's a weather or it's whatever, you don't have to go in and change it every single day. It just automatically comes up directly from that website where it's uh, pulling the uh, data from. So that is how you do an HTML widget. Now we're going to move on to what I think is another great tool. Um, not that any of these are bad <laughs> tools necessarily. No. Uh, but you can see here this is the document viewer. Another great way to add really good, high-quality content to your to your website. Yeah. Um, and typically, um, when you put some a document that you want your customers to be able to see on your website, sometimes they may have to go to another page. Sometimes um, it takes them a while to download. So we think that this is a really great addition to my business site um, because it keeps your customers on your page. Um, and they can just open up the document right there and you know see it and interact with it. And if they want to download it, then they can, which we'll show you in a, in a minute. Mm -hmm. And this is available with the Plus and Advanced package. I should also say um, the HTML widgets are available with all packages, mm -hmm. and the uh, image library is going to be included with the Plus and Advanced packages right, also. Right, right. So with this document viewer, um, it's really nice. It's really easy to use. I like it if you're a restaurant and you have a menu that you know, changes yeah, frequently. yeah. This is an easy yeah. way to just go in and just update it on the fly automatically if you are updating it via PDF or whatever it might be. So we'll take a look here at the news and information section. We'll go back in first of all to the editor, the page editor. Just simply click on edit page at the bottom. And you can see here up in the um, uh, nav, nav, nav bar, the navigation section, just click on news and information the spot where we're going to put the um, uh, document that we have. And you can see here we, we've got a couple, couple spots where we can add new elements. We're going to add it all the way down here at the bottom of the page. Click on Add New Element. And again, everything that you need is in this easy box. Mm -hmm. So you just yep. click on the box. Yep, everything's in one spot. Click on Document Viewer. And now you can see all the different choices that you have. So you can select how you want to view it, whether it's uh, uh, straight uh, vertically or if you want to view it horizontally with like side by side. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you just want to have like a presentation where it has each slide coming up slide after slide. So if you want to permit the downloads of it, uh, this might be something that is copyright protected. You don't want people to have it. They can view it but not download it. We're going we're gonna to let people uh, download this mm -hmm. and then also um, uh, permit them to print it. So you'll simply go press the browse button here. I've got a document here that shows you how to groom a dog. You'll select that. Click on transfer document and what it's going to do is it's just going to upload that. It might take a couple seconds because of the software that we're using to broadcast this but it's going to upload that and you'll be able to uh, take a look at it. You can see here uh, this is just a care sheet for why you should groom your animal. It's very easy to navigate through, and at the top you can see that you can just page through it. Um, you can type in. You can zoom in on. Yeah, you can zoom in. Zoom you can out. zoom out. You can even print it or download it, mm -hmm. depending upon what you've given your customers uh, the rights to. Yep. Or you could blow it out to the uh, full screen. So really easy to do, really straightforward. Um, I highly recommend it if you have some good presentations mm -hmm. that maybe do case studies or describe what your business does. It's great. Great way to do it. Great and way to make uh, sure you hit save. <laughs> always, always hit save. So we're going to hit save. That's going to automatically uh, populate right there and you can see it. That document is added to our website. Cool. Adding more content. Looks great. Yeah. All right. So moving along here, the industry news feeds, hmm. another really easy way to add content to your site that's mm -hmm. going to be automatically updated yep. and um, you know it'll keep people coming back. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So this is going to be a couple different ones. We have one-on-one uh, -on -one selected news feeds which are very broad or we have our external partner news feeds which are extremely specific and there are literally hundreds of them. 
So this is going to pull um, articles, information directly to your site, and then it's going to display right on your right on your website. This is available with the Plus and Advanced packages, mm -hmm. and it will update automatically for you. Which is which is great. So you can see here we've already created a little section for it under News and Information. We'll click Add New Element. And you can scroll down through and you can see here under the messages section, they've got the news one-on-one -on -one feeds and the news RSS feeds. So we'll just do the one-on-one -on -one feeds for now, take a look at what those have. All right, so you can take a look at what the view is going to look like. Do you want to have an image there, left or right side? Do you want to have the image outside of it or embedded in it? Um, how many articles do you want to have show up on your site? And these are the choices. It, once again, pretty broad. Mm -hmm. uh, for this one, we're just going to simply do news and then top, top news. news. And you can take a look here and you can see exactly how it's going to show up. So what will happen is they can click on this more button and read that mm -hmm. article directly within your site. Um, what's nice is you're keeping them on your site. Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you're um, just putting in maybe links to articles that you like on the web, they're going to have to click on that link and then go to CNN.com. And, all and then of a sudden, they'll get sidetracked and yep. may not come back to your site. Exactly. They so this is great and because it's gone. providing information and it's easy for them to access and they don't have to leave your site, which is a great plus. So we don't want to do five. Let's just say we want to do three. It's simple. We just check that number of articles and put it down to three. And there you can see the news is up and running. We'll click on save and that's going to automatically update. So it's going to automatically update throughout the day. Uh, to the to the most most recent news that's uh, uh, coming up. So let's say we also wanted to do another uh, news feed that was uh, outside of one on one, right? Right. So this is uh, a content provider that we've contracted with, and you can see here it's going to come up under RSS feeds rather than one on one feeds. You can check that box, and you can see all the different uh, news feeds by clicking on new news feed and you can go and just make a selection you can take a look at these topics I mean there is a lot more topics yeah. on the top level that you can go through you can see here so for this one let's just say we want to do hobbies and you take a look at these hobbies uh, whenever this comes up it's loading right now and these subtopics I mean there are wow hundreds lot, yeah. hundreds of choices so you can go through and you can see all the different choices that you've got available I mean, there's just a ton, and you can go ahead and let's say we want to click on, since we are a pet groomer, we want to do dogs, and we can click on dogs, and that's it. You check dogs, you click OK, and that feed is automatically up and running. Click on save, and it looks like it's not loading it right now, maybe because of the software that we're in, but normally it would show up similar to how it currently shows up with uh, these feeds right here. And you can mm -hmm. have those directly on your website. Content's automatically updating. Great. And there people don't have to leave your site. Content is king. Once again, we win. OK, so let's take a look at a couple other features here. Looks like we're going to run through these pretty quick so that we can uh, make it on time here and still take some of your questions. Also, uh, you know, as we're going through all these different things, please make sure that you are um, putting in your URL or your web address. If you're a current customer that's using my business site, we'd love to take a look at your site, and review it, uh, take give a look at it. Feedback. Yep, absolutely. And then help to um, give some you know, information to people that don't have my business site yet. Mm -hmm. But you can, you'll be, we'll be able to see what it looks like. So with the event calendar, pretty straightforward. I mean, this is going to add a calendar functionality to your site. Yep. Which is great because everyone that has, I mean, say you are a dance studio, um, you're going to want to show when your classes are. Mm -hmm. You want to show the calendar. So yeah. this is a really, really great way to keep your customers coming back to your website. Yeah, absolutely. You can uh, add some different events, add online events, or whether it's in your store directly. Uh, and then they're going to have a couple different views you can have. And once again, this is included in the uh, plus and advanced packages. So let's take a look at how you set up a calendar. So we will... For the calendar, we'll add this to the news and information page also. It's going to mm -hmm. be a pretty robust page here. It's going to be a lot of uh, content on it. So first, I want to add it under the document viewer. So I would click on Add New Element whenever I um, highlight the document viewer. And then I would, under Data, click on Calendar. 
when you click on calendar, it's going to pull up all this information here. And you can take a look at a couple different views, like we talked about, a list view, a detailed view, a week view, and